We begin this morning with more sanctions being imposed on North Korea. The South Korean government has slapped unilateral sanctions on 18 North Korean individuals, the first of its kind from the new Moon Jae-in administration. Now, those targeted are suspected of funneling money into the regime's nuclear and missile programs. And Seoul's move announced just a day before President Trump's visit symbolizes tightened coordination between the two allies on North Korean policy. Our Kim Hyo-sun starts us off. The Moon Jae-in administration has unveiled its first unilateral sanctions against North Korea over the regime's nuclear and missile provocations. A foreign ministry official said Monday that 18 individuals who represent North Korean banks overseas have been blacklisted as they were involved in supplying money needed to develop weapons of mass destruction. The list includes the heads and executives of North Korean banks stationed internationally, including China, Russia and Libya. The sanctions will freeze property of the targeted individuals within South Korean jurisdiction and ban any of their transactions with South Korean banks. Watchers say the measures are only symbolic as the two Koreas have already cut all transactions since the implementation of May 24 sanctions in 2010. Yet they can be interpreted as a show of close coordination between Seoul and Washington, especially because the new sanctions have been unveiled just 24 hours before President Trump arrives in South Korea for a two-day stay. Kim Yo-sun, Arirang News.